All right, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up a very easy broccoli and cauliflower dish. Kind of a cauliflower gratin. We're going to have some cheese, a little cheesy topping with breadcrumbs. So the first thing we're going to do, put our topping together. This is a little bit of a Pecorino Romano and uh, some Monterey Jack, but you can use whatever kind of cheese you like. You know, to me, this is kind of fancy pants. Now, a lot of people like to use like cheddar cheese, like that cheesy liquidy stuff, you know, people put on broccoli at some, uh, what is it, West End Sizzling? If you're a prehistoric caveman, you want to eat your broccoli like that. But we're just having the Pecorino Romano, a little bit of uh, Monterey Jack all shredded up, and then I'm throwing in some yogurt. Now, this here just happens to be honey yogurt, but you can use whatever kind of yogurt you like. Basically, we just want to make a creamy topping. So your ratio to cheese to yogurt is going to be whatever you like. You don't want it to be too liquidy because we're going to put it in the oven and that's going to heat it up. You don't want it to get too watery and melty. You want it to be kind of thick and cheesy on top of your cauliflower and broccoli. So boom, there's our topping and now we're going to go ahead and heat up our cauliflower and broccoli. Now I'm just going to steam it. You know, we're going to steam it a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and throw it in the oven. Now you don't have to use one of these doohickeys if you don't want to. You can just put a little water on the bottom of the pan. But I'm going to use this here. I got my cauliflower chopped up. And I got my broccoli chopped up. So kind of about the same size. And we're just going to steam these for a few minutes. We're not going to over steam them. Because I want my stuff to have a little bit of a crunch to it. And like I said, we're going to put it in the oven too. So there's not much to this dish. Boom, steam your broccoli and cauliflower. You know, put it in a bake safe dish. Boom, put your little uh, cheese and uh, cream topping on there. And then throw some breadcrumbs on there. So while this is steaming away, boom, I'll go ahead and uh, get my breadcrumbs ready. So now we're going to fix our breadcrumb topping. Because you know, we want it to have a nice flavor. We want it to color it up right. So I'm going to uh, saute it for a moment in a pan, boom, with some butter and some garlic. And that's going to add a great taste to this breadcrumb topping. Starting to melt up there, I'm going to throw in a little bit of finely chopped garlic. And you can vary the amount on here as much as you like. But this is going to add a great flavor to these breadcrumbs. So just a little bit of garlic and butter. My garlic is... Uh, Sit in there probably for about 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and throw my breadcrumbs in here. Boom. Stir these breadcrumbs up with this butter and this garlic. And see, it seemed like it was a lot of butter, but boom, it's instantaneously soaked up. And then that's it. And this is going to help the breadcrumbs to brown up while they're in the oven. Get that off of the heat. This here has only been going for about five minutes. But that's okay. I don't like my broccoli and cauliflower to be overdone. You know, I don't want it to be all mushy and gushy. I want it to have a little bit of bounce. Not bounce. I want it to have a little bit of crunch. I want it to have a little salt and salt. So we get our baked set dish. Nice balancing act, bud. Oh, something. All right, so there you have it. You see, there's my steamed cauliflower and broccoli. I don't want it overdone. And I use this here, uh, this here, a steaming basket, so I don't have, so it's not overly wet, because you don't want to put a lot of water in here. Uh, but you can just, if you don't have a steaming basket, you can just do it in your pan with a little bit of water, but make sure you drain it very well so it's not wet when you put it in here. And use a utensil or something when you're pressing this down because I make it look like it's not hot, like you can't be injured at. But my hands are like, they're like, they're like lethal weapons. They're steel. Doesn't hurt at all. Meow. I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt on here. Even though we've got some salt and pepper in our cheese topping, we still want a little bit in here with the veggies and mixing it up. So now we're gonna go ahead and spoon. Our little cheesy, creamy concoction on here. It didn't seem like a lot when I was putting it together. But look how thick this is. And it's going to melt. When we put it in the oven, it's going to melt down in between these bits of broccoli and cauliflower too. We have our cheese topping on top of our cauliflower and broccoli. Now we're going to take the breadcrumbs. 
that we just mixed up with our garlic and butter. And we're going to cover the top. Mm. You can use just a bare minimal amount of topping on here if you like. Or you can be like me and put a super duper lot on there. But I got my oven heated like 450 degrees. So we're just going to slide it in here. Let that cook away a little bit. We'll check on it in a few minutes because basically, you know, the, the broccoli, the, the vegetables are cooked. You know, it's not going to take any time for that cheese and cream, you know, to heat up. So basically we want the top to kind of brown a little bit and then it's going to be all set. My topping's already browning up. So that's going to be it. Boom. Look how delicioso that looks. And that's what you want. You know, you want it to get, you know, nice and toasty on top. Boom. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And bon appetit. Would we be better off, you know, just eating <laughs> the broccoli and cauliflower just steamed by itself? Sure. And sometimes we do that. But, you know, sometimes you like that extra boom, boom.